All right, so now we're ready to do part C, and uh, as we as we go uh, into part C, uh, we just need to realize so the secant method. The secant method, uh, running out of paper here. Okay, so that is x uh, i plus one equals x i. Let's see. Make sure I don't tell you guys wrong xi minus uh, f at xi f at xi uh, uh, divided by so I'm, I'm going to write it this way and I know this is not quite the way you, you usually see it um, f of xi uh, minus 1 uh, okay, f at xi minus 1 um, minus f at xi and then that's going to be all divided by x i minus 1 minus x i and the reason that I write it out like this is so that you can see that all this is as this is basically a derivative approximation and I'm not just doing this to show you the similarity, although you can see the similarity between the secant method and newton raphson method, I'm showing you this because uh, because I want to cheat when I when I do this method, and I want to uh, and and what I want to do is reuse my my newton raphson uh, function that I wrote before. So uh, if we just go over to our same newton raphson function I wrote before, I'm just going to save as uh, and I'm going to call it. Uh, secant whoops save as it needs to be secant dot m okay so I'm going to save this as secant and then nothing more than secant uh, name change here and uh, I'm just going to use a, an approximation to f prime and uh, so, uh, and so I, I'm just going to uh, pass in then fx. Uh, well, so this is fx old, and so then this is going to be x older. <laughs> f of x older, right? That's x minus 1. This is going to be f at x and then we're going to calve f of x plus 1 so so that's what I'm going to do and then I'm just going to say f uh, prime uh, f prime x uh, equals f uh, x old uh, minus f well let's do the older minus f x old so that's the difference in y's and over uh, x uh, uh, old and so we also need x old and x older uh, f x old er minus x old okay so now we have this approximation to f prime and I can leave those other two lines the same because it's doing exactly the same thing okay so that's that's my shortcut w I'll save this and then go back to our MATLAB and say let's clear here and so then we're going to go uh, x, x, 
uh, so we say x old equals uh, 0 0.5 let's say and maybe well let's call that x older and then x old uh, let's say that's equal 0 0.4 okay and uh, that's great so then we're saying uh, uh, x new new ea equals secant of x uh, old x uh, older and then f of x old and and we can just say f of x old and f at x older okay and that should do it uh, Old and define function f underscore x. Where did I put that? Oh, in secant. Okay. So in secant, that's it. Line three. Set number so we can see the lines here. On line three, it says f of x. fx. Oh, yeah. So that's going to be fx. Old. Uh, fx old right because that's f at x i over f prime x okay and so now let's try again okay so it gave us an updated so a 2.2485 is x new so um, now we just need to um, update our, our x's so we say x x uh, old equals x was x older equals x old and x old equals x new and then run this function again and wow okay so we get 0.2704 and we're less than 1% error. We can say format long g. Uh, so we can just get to see x new. And that's uh, all in all its glory. So um, that's, the, that's the approach. And so now we've, we've successfully done the uh, graphical method, the Newton-Raphson method, and the secant method to determine the roots of this function.